Okay, hello everybody. Today we are back with another Pokemon Sword and Shield news video. This one is a little like less hype of news. It's not like a new Pokemon or anything. It's not like new typing confirmed or anything like the Pony Talk. But this one is about the wild area, which is actually probably the part I'm looking forward to the most in Pokemon Sword and Shield. But they there was a new cover of a uh, guide a Pokemon guidebook by Koro Koro. It's not like Koro Koro magazine, but it's like a Pokemon Sword and Shield fastest guidebook thing. And they revealed the cover. And a cover has like, you know, every single Pokemon revealed so far. It literally even has the Ponyta right here, which is kind of wild that they already had that on the cover. But they have all this, they have every single character revealed so far. They have all this kind of stuff. And the only thing they, don't, they have is like not previously revealed is this tiny map of the wild area right here. And Serebii has a bigger version of this right here. So as you can see by like this, the wild area is very large. This is so much bigger than I thought it was. I, I didn't realize the wild area was going to be this big. I thought it was just a, this uh, area down here with the lakes. But it covers this entire area up here. It's literally almost three times the size that I thought it was. That's kind of wild. So if we take this and we compare it to a map of Galar. The wild area, if you look at this map, it has like these lakes right here. Those lakes are right here. They cover, so that means the wild area is this entire area down here. Plus, it goes all the way up and around here to just below this, like, dragon castle area. Because you like, if I can kind of scroll into this, does it work? Yeah. You can see the little dragon heads on the entrances that were in, like, one of those trailers or whatever. Which is cool. That's dope. So, the wild area is absolutely massive. Like, just looking at this and, like, looking at this area and the scale of the map. And this is an entire city right here. And the wild area is so much larger than it. It's going to be dope. Now, I swear there was a, like a deserty wild area, which I guess is, could be this area up here. If you look at this, it kind of looks like a deserty area right here. So I guess that makes sense. I remember seeing like a Tyranitar in the overworld in the wild area. So I just assumed it was going to be a little bit more biome differentiating rather than just being mostly like a grassy area with just like little bits in between. Because there's also a snowy area, like a snowy point with like snowbirds and uh, uh, there's another ice type that was in there. What was it? I don't know, but it had like a snowbird. I remember seeing a snowbird. And it was cool and all, but I thought that was like an icy area. But I guess it was just the weather condition at the time was snowy. Because we go over here, and this is the wild area page on the Pokemon Sword and Shield website. If we go over here, we could see the weather. The weather changes a lot. You know, like, look, 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 this is the sandstormy area I was talking about. So I'm assuming that this area of the Tyranitar is this general area on the wild area map so that's dope it's a it's obviously a pretty expensive looking area not that we can see much from the image but still so the pokemon you run into will change depending on things like weather and location so obviously like you know you can see a seismitoad in the rain here you can see a thought or a tyranitar in the sandstormy like you know dead tree de or, you know dead grass area like a desert area and then in the thunderstorms you can see electric type pokemon like these like electric here and all that that's dope the thing about uh, the thunderstorm though is it's kind of wild. It's literally electric terrain plus rain. So 100% accurate boosted thunders off of one weather condition. If any Dynamax or Gigantamax Pokemon can set this, that's going to be so meta relevant in terms of like using, uh, well, if there's any good electric types. It's like, what, right now we have more Pico? Let's look at this image. We have like more Pico down here. Yeah, more Pico. And there's Yamper. That's an electric type, but it's probably going to be physically offensive if I had to guess. And I don't think we have any other electric types revealed so far. But, I mean, that could benefit off of that. That'd be dope. But the wild area, it's it's massive. Like, where is the... Like, this is a good image to scale it. Because this is... This is that the area to the left. So if we look at the map again... Oh, wait, no, not this map. So... This is the tall, like, pointy rock right here on the, this image right here. So this character is standing right here, I guess, right here. It's standing right above the water, correct? Where did the image go? There it is. Yeah, he's standing right above the water, right next to this thing. So he is standing right here on this tiny little bit right here. And the scaling is just nuts. This wild area is going to be massive, dude. Look at all the grass patches everywhere. You'll be able to see so many different Pokemon. It's going to be so much fun. Like, actually, though, this game is going to be amazing. 
Also, I didn't realize Bronzor, Bronzor was in the game. That's cool. We have, you know, Screens, Rapid Spinner, Stealth Rock Setter, Gyro Ball, Trick Room Setter. So that's a utility Pokemon and a half right there. Good typing too, and Steel Psychic. But uh, besides the point, that's besides the point. Uh, the wild area is going to be phenomenal, dude. Uh, I think it's going to be really interesting to see when you get to the wild area. Because if you look, this right here, I can scroll. This right here is the starting town, I'm pretty sure. Because they showed footage of the starting town. I could pull it up in a minute, probably. But they showed footage of the starting town, and this is it. But if you start here, you can't get anywhere. I guess unless you go into this train station, and you go up through here, and the train station brings you up here to... Is this the grass gym? That would make so much sense. Because say it brings you to the grass gym right here. You go to the grass gym, and then you can like cut up here, go around here. Maybe go to whatever this is right here. And then you can go to this big city, which I'm assuming is going to be like the Lumios of this game. If, if, uh... This isn't the Lumias of this game, but I see this being more of like an Elite Four area, but look at these giant towers. If I see this being like some sort of like Lumios, like main hub city of the game or whatever, like a lot of the story probably goes down, which is going to be dope. And this is like a massive gate that just leads into the wild area. I would be willing to bet that in the story, this is where you first enter the wild area. I'd be willing to bet that right here, like right when you get to the city for the first time, which I'm going to guess is going to be after the first gym, you, or maybe after the second gym, because it looks like you go... Maybe up here, right here, and then you just cross this bridge, go over to the water gym. And maybe you just continue north? I don't know. This It's going to be really interesting to see how you traverse the map in this game. But you obviously go down here to, the, like, you go to the wild area probably as soon as you get to the city. And that'd be dope, because, like, you get there so early on in the game, theoretically. Because this map's kind of weird, a little bit different than the typical maps we have. But the interesting thing about the wild area that I was not aware about until I started researching the subject is, if you look here, in the wild area that's changed you into a powerful wild Pokemon, these Pokemon are constantly on, on their guard. In fact, you won't even be able to throw a Pokeball at them when first starting your adventure. That is really important to note, because that means a lot of the Pokemon will be locked out to post-game. But still be available to find, but you will not be able to catch them until post-game. So, keep that in mind if you're planning on using like a Tyranitar. Well, a Tyranitar, you have like the Raid Crystal, if you pre-order the right way or whatever. So, you can always get back in the... Uh and uh, get one that way but like or just trade one over or transfer one over or whatever but that's really important to note i love looking at this map though like just look at the map like the starting town's insane i actually like i said i might pull up the uh the video there's in a second because it was really interesting to see actually because it was, it was like a video they showed before but they showed an edited down version the version that is like leaked the full version of it there's nothing new in it it's just starting town but it's dope to look at i love looking at the graphics of this game because they, they look amazing like, actually, I cannot wait for the graphics just to see every cool Pokemon, every Pokemon in the game, in these amazing graphics. Dude, look at all these gyms. I'm assuming this is a gym right here. Like, this is a gym, this is a gym. Uh, this is my first time, like, super looking in detail at the map, so I'm pretty excited. What is this? Look at this giant, like, circle, dude. Like a, like a Ferris wheel or, like, a roller coaster, dude. Look at that. Yeet. Dude, there's, like, this giant build. This is, like, a carnival city, dude. What if this entire like city right here is post game that would be dope what if it was like post game and this was like the battle frontier and all that kind of stuff that'd be dope like that entire island they had in omega ruby alpha sapphire but uh yeah the, that's the new stuff in the wild area there's like a the new map here you know you can see everything the wild area is so large dude it's literally the entire thing right here it's crazy but i am going to take a second to pull up that video and then we will look at that and uh see what the town looks like Okay, so wait. Yeah, yeah, so looking at this uh this tweet here, this is from a Twitter called Pokey Jungle. I'll leave I'll leave a link in the uh, description. I should restart this. I will leave a link in the description, the uh, the Twitter, and I will also leave the uh Sarah in the description as well because they provide information for us as well. But if you look at this, it's the Pokemon Sword and Shield Secret Club in Japan has uploaded a new look on the game's starting town. A Chinese user extracted it from the site, and we're sharing it with you all here. What do you think? So if we look at this video, I'm going to turn the sounds off because I don't know if it's a good sound to have in the, the video to get copyright strikes or whatever. But just looking at the town here, uh, this is amazing looking. Like, look at the graphics, dude. Look at the ground and like, I don't even know what this building is. Maybe that's where you get clothes for the first time, like character kinds of uh, That might be the train station or something. I'm not sure. This dude with his Wooloo just chilling there, like staring at you. The houses look so much more detailed than normal Pokemon games. It's so nice looking i love it like look at the bricks walls and everything this is the, obviously the professor's lab which is you know how you know it's a starting town it's a professor's lab that's where you get your like 
probably your score bunny group and your sobble, and it's gonna be dope. Dude, look, I love how the characters like turn to look at you as you walk by them in the overworld. That's so dope to me. They didn't do that in previous games, I don't think, as far as I know, in Sun and Moon, they didn't do that. But that's so cool. So he's walking up here to this Pokemon Center. Does he go inside of it? I haven't really watched this before. Oh, those little Mart symbols and you know the Marts in the Pokemon Center. That's cool. Does not go in the Pokemon Center. Okay, I remember like we've seen inside of a Pokemon Center before because we have like one half arm of a Pokemon that might be there or whatever. Uh, that's like a berry shop or something. You probably have, like stuff for your Pokemon camp cooking there. There's a Wooloo herder. Oh, that's the clothing store. That's the clothing store right there. Look at that. That's dope. That's a clothing store. This is kind of just an overall like, map view thing, like looking at the map in general. Thing. Uh, he's going up here. I think there's a lot more to this, right? How long is it? Oh yeah, I still got like 30 seconds left. Let's go. I love like just seeing everything about this game, dude. I am so like ready for this game. Any new anything on it, it hypes me up. This is insane. So he's going over here. I watched like the first five seconds of this earlier and just didn't watch the rest of it. Walking to the steps. That's a cool animation actually that like, slows you down and has like little stepping animations. That was definitely like, you know, one step animation for every one and a half steps, but that's okay. Watch again. No, what? Is that it? Aw, oh, man. Well, he crosses the bridge and then that's that. Okay. So yeah, this is definitely the starting town because if you look at this, like, well, this bridge area, I think it is. I think I've seen this on the map before. Like staircase down in the bridge. And we go over here under the map and we zoom in and we look down here i think that is right here professor's lab he walks up to professor's lab i feel like that's not it actually i swear like i thought walk to professor's lab pokemon center was right here wasn't it Huh, maybe that was not it. Maybe that was not the this town down here. That's interesting. Or maybe it wasn't I'm just like tripping, because like I swear this building was here, but they had a clothing store over here as well. Maybe this map was released earlier, they don't have all the information or something. Because this looks like Professor's Lab right here. Uh that is interesting. Is there any other town I can see that being? Like, I swear that was Professor's Lab, so like. The professor, I don't know their name, the, the, there's the, the granddaughter and the grandmother, I don't know the names, but that's interesting. Uh, regardless though, like that's, <laughs> I, I kind of rambled a bit and like went off on like a tangent because I love, you know, talking about the game. But that is the new like wild area map that we have, the new information on it, it's obviously a massive area and we just have so much about it. Look how beautiful this best, best between looks though, look how beautiful the game looks dude. Also, people hanging on this tree, dude. The trees look dope. I don't even care. This game looks amazing. I'm ready for it. But, uh, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Let me know your thoughts on the wild area down below. I'm excited for the, the wild area, personally. It's going to be probably my favorite feature of the game. It's so interesting and different. I'm excited for it. But, yeah. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below. And I'm out. Eat.